uh, it take to the rematch not happening right after? Even though what I said, it? yeah, I thought it sucked. Yeah, you know it was. Uh, it's hard. It's hard when a person says that they're gonna do something, and they and they, you know, they go on interviews and they talk about what they're gonna do, like something like that other Mexican guy, John, where I'm gonna challenge this guy, yeah. and then they change their mind. But it's a business. At the end of the day, it's uh, we're fighting March 18. You know, if, if we're to win, and if he's to win, his his next option is either you fight Carlos or you vacate the title. That's what, it comes what, what, what do you make of the performance he, he did for the fight? I think that I really believe that Carlos and Gonzalez fought to a draw. I didn't think uh, it could have gone. I mean, it could have gone either way, but I thought the draw, draw was, was, more suitable. was suitable for both. Yeah. And uh, then we could have got a rematch. But uh, but at the end of the day, you have three judges. i one judge. Like, you. You gotta ask yourself, you know, you know why? Yeah. So, hey, that's just, it is what it is. Whether you lose by a point or seven points, you still lost. Mm -hmm. you know? But I think that uh, Carlos in the rematch will be better. What is that? Why, what makes you think that? What makes you believe that? The confidence that he acquired in that fight and the fact that, the fact that he was able to, to do something that nobody else had ever done. I think that he could. I, I say that, I'm, I'm quoting the uh, Man on Fire, where yeah. he says, every, every man can be an artist. Yeah. While he's about to paint his masterpiece, and that would be the, the him being um, oh, yeah. That would be the, the ideal for both of them, because yeah. it's a team. What would you take to a possible fight with uh, Francisco Estrada, Grayo Estrada? He's been mentioned a little bit, not to share what he's doing, but I mean, if the possibility of the rematch isn't presented with Colatito, I mean, He's, he's always been relevant, but Carlos' fight is next against uh, Carmona, and then we're looking, hopefully, that the next fight will be against Gonzalez, and that will be sometime against the year. Yeah. Or, so, uh, but as far as the Sada, I mean, that's, we're, we're too far ahead with the Sada. Like, what threats would he pose if you guys were to meet? Does he have anything particular no. that will worry you? No, no. He he he's, he poses the same threat that any fighter does. Um, yeah. It's like uh, what's that? What threat is that? He has to, he has a good left and a good right, and neither one of them can hurt us, right? So uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's about him being on, you know, him being focused and being, being ready for a fight. It's like, I think that Carlos beats Carlos. That's more than anybody else. Yeah. 